Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at another pair of Hot Wheels vehicles, and it's from Star Wars, R2-D2, and BB-8. Now, I found these at my local Kroger store. They've got a ton, I mean a ton, of Star Wars Hot Wheels right now for some reason, and uh, they definitely looked pretty interesting. Now, these are going for about $3.50 each, um, is that worth it? I, I don't know. Uh, it's because it's got the Star Wars brand on it. And they are a little bit more elaborate Hot Wheels. However, some of the other Hot Wheels I got for a dollar there, I really probably couldn't even say that. Uh, they're just about as uh, elaborate, but it's definitely because of the Star Wars branding. Now, I got R2-D2 and BB-8 because, well, they're adorable. And I got these for my girlfriend's daughter. She is four years old. And she likes the little droids from Star Wars, uh, so definitely had to pick them up. They're very cute. I'm kind of starting to get her on a Hot Wheels kick, which is kind of fun. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and got these two, and I thought when I first picked them up that they would be on the same body mold and just maybe some slight retools and some paint deco differences. But no, that is not the case. They're actually very, very different figures, which is very cool. So looking at the two figures side by side, we get this really nice artwork with R2 with his uh, little electro poker coming out with some uh, electricity going off. And uh, it's uh, they're both from Star Wars The Force Awakens, actually, which is kind of interesting. Um, the whole two minutes R2-D2 was in it. Uh, then we get BB-8 here looking all kinds of adorbs. We get the uh, robot car things down there. It says Hot Wheels at the bottom. It's got the Disney logo. Um, nothing at all on the bottom. It does not appear. And then on the backs of the figures, we have little write-ups, uh, which is very cool, and other vehicles in the lines. So taking a look at R2 first, um, here's the artwork for R2. Um, kind of interesting, totally a CG image of the vehicle. I don't know why they just couldn't take a picture of it. Um, there is the write-up. It's pretty long. If you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And then the other figures, of course, we get BB-8. Uh, there's Kylo Ren's, which looked pretty cool. General Grievous, uh, which was an interesting add-in. The Inquisitor from Star Wars Rebels. And then we get Chewbacca's little truck thing, which actually looked pretty cool. Um, I'm surprised they didn't have a C-3PO by itself, uh, which was a bit disappointing. I probably would have picked it up as well. Now, they did have 3PO and R2 in two packs, and uh, they were Tatooine desert uh, paint covers, which was kind of interesting. So just kind of a close-up of BB-8's artwork here. Again, a CG render. Um, here is the little bio. If you want to pause and read that, you're more than welcome to. So yeah, definitely very cool. Kind of a close-up look here for R2. So there's the artwork we get with R2, and it is from The Force Awakens. Here he is, looking all kinds of cute. Um, very 70s, uh, late 70s, early 80s style uh, Hot Wheel, um, it reminds me of. Um, he's got the little drag pipes off the motor. I like the chrome blue on the black wheels. Looks nice. The clear uh, dome is interesting. There's some silver chrome paint apps on there, as well as some um, blue metallic uh, paint apps. like the blue on the back. I think they did a pretty good job of turning uh, R2 into a little Hot Wheels car there. Um, yeah, um, pretty cool. Definitely cute. Um, I'm sure the little girl is going to like that. So very, very neat. And then take a look at BB-8 here. Here is BB-8 art's work. I'm so good. Um, and here is BB-8, very orange. And as you can see, it is different. Uh, the wheels are different. Um, we've got orange with silver on it, looking very cool. I mean, the whole design is different. This is more round. I like um, the little circle uh, up here on the grill. That looks really nice. Um, and then there's BB-8's dome. He's got the antennas on there, which is very, very cool. Back of the car, very neat. I really like how they made these very, very different Hot Wheels. Um, lots of detail and paint apps. I am really, really digging that. Um, but very impressed that they did not just decide, oh, I've got a little round-headed uh, droid. 
car thing, I'll just repaint it. No, we get very different sculpting. So is BB-8 and R2-D2 Hot Wheels vehicles that you want in your Star Wars collection or your Hot Wheels collection? You know, I'm going to say yeah, um, especially if you like the Star Wars Hot Wheel uh, character vehicles. They're pretty cool. I've seen quite a few of them over the past year. The Darth Vader and Stormtrooper ones are really, really sick. I want to pick those up uh, for my collection. I really, really like them. Um, these two droids look really, really neat. I wouldn't mind going back and getting them again. Um, I like the Chewbacca one. I think that one looks really, really cool. I, I'm surprised we haven't seen like um, X-Wing and Millennium Falcon and TIE Fighter and Star Destroyer uh, Hot Wheels in versions like this. Uh, while we get the actual vehicles in the movie, we don't get actual Hot Wheels versions of them, which I think would be pretty fun. But uh, these are just kind of goofy and weird, and I think little kids are going to like them. Star Wars collectors are going to like them, and Hot Wheels collectors are going to like them. The price point is higher than your average Hot Wheels. Uh, they're $3.50 each. You can get uh, multi-packs of like two packs, and I've seen four packs out there as well that go anywhere from like 8 bucks to I think about $15. Uh, so, yeah, you know, just kind of go out there and see what's out there. So there they are, R2-D2 and BB-8 Hot Wheels from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and as always, look for more videos in the future.